Hi everybody. Today we are microneedling my abs. So I'm gonna let you guys come in. It's a full tutorial today with the Dr. Pen M8, but I'm also gonna be going over my entire body microneedling protocol. So I'll wait for you guys to start coming in. Hi everybody, hello, hello. We've got a good show today. Microneedling my abs. So <laughs> many of you guys have asked for this protocol. This is my, it's literally five pages of my microneedling protocol and it's everything that you need to know to be able to microneedle at home. So it has to do with safety um, and then it gives you every level that I do on my entire body. So there's a different um, depth that I do in terms of the needle length with the forehead, neck, eyes, nose, lips, chin, cheeks, jowls, and I'm gonna go over all of this today, okay? Without further ado though, we do have a winner from last week, Fit Sandra. You won. <laughs> so you won the hydrolyzed collagen around the eye gel mask. Um, send me your mailing address and I'll get this in the mail. And then um, for the ones for yesterday, I had my live yesterday that's posted to my feed already with, um, with this whole kind of um, detoxing of your entire body. And so this is what's up for grabs for next week. So make sure on the, the feed, that it, the post that I already put in my feed that you tag your three people and the colon cleanse and the skinny tea by Teamy is up for grabs, which is a 30 day like tea talks. So you have to tag your three people in the post from yesterday. Okay, I'm just gonna get busy on my abdomen because this is, you know, I've had, I grew three human beings in here. Let me just see if there's any questions. Do you use, uh, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so I'm just gonna start here. Can I get that? Can I get that? What, what are you looking for? Um, if you're looking for this, if you guys want to send me like a DM that just says um, detox tea, I'll give you the link to this. This is a combo product, which um, I use like, I want, I want to say at least three or four times. I want, to, I want to say once every three or four months, I'll do this for about 30 days, this combo. And it really kind of helps clean out your entire system. So this is what's up for grabs. Make sure you tag your three people. There's nothing up for grabs today because normally on Sundays I do a microneedling demo and that demo gets posted to my subscribers in the Live Young Instagram Club, which is like $4.99 a month. Um, but that gets posted there. This one actually, you guys, I'm going to post it here in my main feed afterwards. So you will be able to have that. And I'm just gonna start the reason why I decided to post this one to my main feed instead of just my subscribers is because I've got a lot of questions on the protocol in terms of the depth that you do, the number of needles that you do. So I figured I would go over this whole thing with you guys while I'm multitasking and my needling my stomach. So um, the interesting thing about this is you, it literally will give you the needle links. I worked a long time on this. It will give you the needle links, the speed, all of that stuff. What, how many, how many pin cartridge are you using? It will give you all of that stuff. So if you're looking for this microneedling protocol, DM me, not in the comments below, not in the comments on my feed, but DM me directly microneedling protocol and I'll get this to you, okay? For free, it's absolutely free. <laughs> I don't know why I give so much stuff away for free, but I do. Okay, so let me see if we can do this. I'm gonna get this down a little bit. Let me see if I can just get caught up on the feed so in case a question comes by. Um, oh, hi Pakistan, that's awesome. Okay, oh, thanks for starting to follow me. Okay, I'm gonna, now I'm caught up on the, on the question. So if something comes up, if you ask the question and I did not um, answer it, ask it again here because as they're scrolling through, if it's slow enough, I can kind of catch the question. Right now I'm coating the treatment area with a hyaluronic acid. I'm not a brand ambassador for this and I'll get paid for this, but this is the hyaluronic acid I like because you can get a big bottle of it. It's relatively inexpensive. And hyaluronic acid is made 
in our body anyways. It's a naturally occurring substance. So when you are doing something like creating micro traumas, which I'm going to be doing right now, when you're creating these micro traumas, um, what happens is it's okay. There you are. Okay. Hope you guys, I didn't lose you guys. Okay. So this is the Dr. Pen M8 putting a fresh cartridge on it. It's just a twist and pop. So this can dial up to 2.5 millimeters. Let me see if I can get you to see that. That's 2.5 millimeters and it can go all the way down to zero. So I start on my stomach. I'm going to warm up the area. Um, let's see. This is the, this is the part that I can't stand about this machine is it's really, you have to have bionic eyes. Okay. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay. So now I'm going to go to about a 0.5. I'm not using numbing cream, you guys. And the reason is because when I use numbing cream, I will tear my skin up. I'm from Los Angeles. This is coming, I'm coming at you live from LA. Um, I will tear my skin up if I use a numbing cream. So I'm gonna do a, a 0.50 and I'm just gonna warm that area up just by little swirls. Hold on one second, let me just, one second you guys, I'm coming back, I'll be back. One sec. Like a little bit of allergy, so my nose is running a little bit. Okay, so I'm just doing little swirls, and this is all in my protocol. So if you guys have not received this one, right? This is my the Live Young skincare protocol. This is the 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 sheet that you can use. You can print this out if you subscribe to the newsletter. You print this out and it shows you everything that I do in terms of at home devices, how I fit them all in in the week. And you guys, you would think that I'm doing this all the time. I'm not. I spend 30 minutes a day. So if it's radio frequency, which I do on Wednesdays, that takes me about 25 minutes. If it's red light therapy panel, full body panel, which I do on Tuesdays, that takes me about 30 minutes. Sometimes I'll do a double session and do like an hour. Um, on Mondays is a red light therapy mask. That's like 10, 15 minutes. And Sundays is my needling. I'll get a whole treatment in in 30 minutes if I, wasn't, if I wasn't doing this live. So basically what I'm doing, you can see that the area is getting pink right now. And so when if you look at this, I needle every Sunday, no matter what. But it could be face. It could be abdomen, which I'm doing today. Next, next week will be my neck and my chest. And then the following week will be my knees. So I'll go from above my knees to about mid thigh. And then I throw in other body parts when I have time. You can see, if you can see my hand right now, I don't know if you can see this. There's a little bit of, you see the peeling? Yeah, you can see that. See the peeling? That's because I microneedled my hands. Uh, when do I microneed my hands? Was that last week? Yeah, it was last Sunday, a week ago. So I microneed my hands a week ago, and sometimes you'll you'll see that it will the new skin is underneath and it will kind of exfoliate up. Okay, so I'm just doing one pass here. If you guys have any questions about needle depth or needle length or speed or anything like that, let me know. If you want to be in the draw, well, no, because you don't have to tag three people. I mean, I was going to say, send, you know, send, send, it, send this video to a couple people if you, if you want them to learn how to do microneedling at home. So just to recap, I'm at a 16 pen needle. Now I want to show you the reason why I love these devices as opposed to the rollers and as opposed to the stamps is because although you can disinfect these quite easily by running them under hot water, allowing them to dry, spraying them with a 99% alcohol spray, and then allowing them to dry, that's after use, before you use it again, you spray it with a 99% alcohol spray again, and let it, let it sit there until it dries. And then you have got a sterile device that you can use as a roller. Okay, so it is, this is something that I use. I travel with it, um, things like that. I love the doc, this um, Dr. Penn Stamper. All of these devices are on my Amazon store. Just to make it easy for you guys, the link in my link tree, you'll see the Amazon kind of um, icon. All of this is in my Amazon store, okay? 
But just to recap, I started with a 16 pin cartridge. I love a 16 pin cartridge because it's a great all around cartridge. And when you put this in, it's sterile. So that's why on a weekly basis, I like this Dr. Pin a bit more than I do these stampers because when you're gonna go deep or you're gonna, you know, you're really, you're literally making perforations in your skin. You wanna make sure that you're starting with something sterile. So safety, safety, safety first, okay? That's why I don't really microneedle with any type of um, skincare other than hyaluronic acid because when you do that, if you're adding retinoids or you're adding other skincare to the treatment area, either while you're microneedling or immediately after microneedling, what, what's happening is you're, introdu you're introducing a product that could potentially not be completely sterile and you're increasing your, your likeliness of getting an infection, which will really kind of screw your results and sabotage your healing. So the best way to heal I have found, and I get this question a lot, I get the question of how, how long does it take to heal? Because if you're doing this to your face, let's say you're doing this to your face on a, on a Friday after work and you wanna be able to go into the office on Monday and not have a, a horrific looking face or have a lot of downtime, you'd be, let me just tell you first of all how I, how I heal because I feel like I've got the healing part down. Like I got the healing part down. I double up on, so when this is all done, I'll just put hyaluronic acid, I'll rinse it off in a couple hours with cool water, I won't use any products, um, and then before I go to sleep, what kind of content do you offer on your subscription, does, does anyone know? Okay, well, th yes, you get exclusive content. So normally on a Sunday when I do a demo like this, I will not post this to my main feed because when I post it to my main feed, which I always do on Saturdays, but when I post these to my main feed, it's a lot more work for me because I have to have the caption all in place. Normally, I'm doing a lot of research on those Saturday um, lives. And if any of you guys are normally on those Saturday lives, you can see there's a lot of research that goes into those to make sure that you guys are having the most up-to-date information. Yesterday was on how to detox your body. So there's a lot that goes into that. But when I do the Sunday lives, sorry, I just wanted to be able to do the demo and then have everybody be able to watch it, but post it to my subscribers. So my subscribers get demos. They now have demo, demos on my hands, on my abdomen, on my knees, on my uh, face, chest. So they've had, there's a lot of demos in there. And what I hope to do with those demos is that you grab your tool and you follow along the demo and you're getting the same treatment that I'm getting. So that's why I like to do that. So to answer your question, um, Natalie, um, to answer your question, you get exclusive content, you get a weekly demo and all the questions, all your questions are answered. So even though I caught your question this time, it's really, it's really hard for me to answer every question in my, in my DMs because everybody has one question and there's a, there's a lot of you and that have one question and it becomes very overwhelming. So I try to come up with a system to where you guys can still ask me anything, but it's not at my normal private one-on-one -on -one rate, which is like a 249 an hour. So instead of doing that, I opened up a subscription base, which is what I call the Live Young Instagram Club, where you pay $4.99 a month and you can ask unlimited questions. Now, it will take me sometimes 24 hours or 48 hours to get to you, but I can see the little crown by your name. You can either DM me privately when you ask me a question, I can see that little crown, or you ask me in the subscription club and those questions get answered in 24 or 48 hours. If there's anybody here that's, that belongs to the club, if you can elaborate, that would be great. And you, I just keep accumulating, accumulating, accumulating content in there so that you can follow along and get the stuff, you know, the stuff done. But also there's a lot of questions of what do you think of this device? 
and like I'm going to show you a red light therapy device that I will wrap my stomach in afterwards. And so a lot of people will ask questions like, well, what do you think of this mask? Is this one effective? Is this in the right range? And so I'll go through products for you guys too, so that you're not wasting your money because that's the part that I hate. There's so much marketing around all of these tools now that it's really, um, oh, sorry, that it's really, you know, you're, there's a lot of shit out there that you guys are wasting your money on because it's not effective. It's not the right wavelength. It doesn't heat the skin up like it's supposed to. You know, radio frequency has to be heating the skin to a certain point, 40 degrees Celsius to a 42 degrees Celsius. If it's, if it's not heating your skin to a 40 degrees Celsius, throw that sucker in the garbage because it's not doing anything. And that's kind of what helps with what I help you guys with on the Instagram club. I hope that makes sense. And there is limited space, by the way. It's not like everybody can join. I think right now I have like 50 or 60 spaces open is all. Um, because even that, it gets a little bit overwhelming at times. Let me just get caught up in this. Okay. Um, young for 55. Yes. I, I love being 55, by the way, you guys. I would not go backwards for, any, for anything. But I do like looking and feeling my best at 55. And that's what I help you guys do. Um, what are you using? Can I buy it over the counter? This is hyaluronic acid. Yeah, okay. So the, this device, this is the Dr. Pen M8. It's on my Amazon store. Um, I used to work with an affiliate company and I just, I got burned, I got burned. And there's so many of these devices now that are not allowed to be sold directly from the manufacturer. So they have a lot of different representatives, a lot of different, forgot, I'm blanking on the name, but you know, when you, somebody is a, a distributor, <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> there's a lot of different distributors for the doctor pen. And so um, there's, I, I used to work with one of such distributor, distributor, distributor who never paid me. And so now I'm just, I stuck everything on Amazon. So this is one that I, this link that I have on Amazon is one that I know is a, not a counterfeit product. So this is on my Amazon store. I'm using a hyaluronic acid. You don't have to use this one. Um, I just got it at home, but it doesn't charge. Uh, send that sucker back. But also, are you charging it like long term? And it should be this device, you guys, this device can work when it's plugged in. So that's why I like this. Some of the newer devices, you have to have them charged. And if you, if I, I hate that because, you know, batteries die, charges go out. And if, you're, if your charge is not held and you're in the middle of a treatment, oh, that sucks. So I like to be able to still charge it in once the, the battery dies, charge it in and be able to still continue my treatment. So that's why I don't go up to like the ACE, like the other ones that are a little bit more technology because you're not getting a better treatment. And sometimes more technology just means there's more things that can go wrong. Okay. Anyways, if you're learning from this, please invite your people right here in that little send button. It won't take you off my, my, uh, this tutorial. But share, share this with people. You know, this isn't, I'm not charging any money for this. I just want you guys to have a good treatment. So I am doing a 16 pin needle cartridge, which I love. I'm just gonna briefly tell you about why. Please, please don't look in my cupboard because I'm, I'm really a slob. So I'm a slob at heart. Let me see if I can find a, a smaller one. Maybe I only have 16. Maybe I only have 16 right now. Yeah, I think I only have 16. I think I got rid of all the others. Okay, so this is a 16 pen cartridge. This is what I'm using. And I like this. If you look here, you can see that there is an 11, a 16, a 24, a 36, a 42, a nano, and another nano. So those are the options in terms of the number of needles in the cartridge. Okay, so just briefly, more is not better because if you go over here, these are not really perforating your skin. And what we're looking for is like, we want it to like get into the skin, right? And create that microtrauma. Well, think of it as if you're laying on a bed of nails. If you've got your nails very, very closely packed, you can lay, thank you for the badge, by the way, Thank you so much, United States of Tara. Thank you, that was so sweet. Um, really appreciate it. 
Okay, so if you're laying on a bed of nails and the needles are closely packed, like in the nanos, in the, in the 24, 36, 42, in all of these up here, it's not perforating your skin. You can lay on a bed of nails without a lot of trauma going to your skin, right? But if you spread those nails out, guess what happens? You're able to puncture the skin. So for me, when you get this device, it comes with a lot of different ones. It does include 16s in there, but when you order more, when you're done with all of these, because these are a one-time use, folks. One-time use. Thank you for that. Um, it's a one-time use. So when you're done with the, the things that come with the Dr. Pen, the ones that you want to reorder are the 16. I just think it's a great overall pen, number of pens. You can use it for your entire face, neck, chest, entire body. It's just a great overall kind of pen. So that's what I'm using. Dr. Pen M8 on my Amazon store. Uh, the 16 pen cartridge refills also on my Amazon store. Um, I'm using a hyaluronic acid. I like to use these kind of little silicone brushes and little um, containers because you're not having to rub the product around with your hands. If you're rubbing the product around with your hands and then you're picking up a microneedling tool, trust me, you guys, you don't want to do that. You're going to drop this. It's just going to get all slippery. So that's why I like, I think these are $6.99. So it's silicone and then you just use a silicone brush and you want to coat the area. Now, the reason why you're coating the area, let's see if I can get back a little bit. The reason why you're coating the area is because you want the device to glide over the area. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this, okay? Just to make sure that you've got the treatment area covered. You can do small, small swirls all the way around and do it like as if you're mowing a lawn. Let me see if we can get here. Maybe I'll do it up here so you can see a little bit. And you do it as if you're mowing a lawn, right? So you're doing one, let me get a little bit more hyaluronic acid. You're getting, you're doing one strip at a time, but I like to use swirls anyway. So, and then you come back down the other way and you're going slightly lower. So that's one way to do it. You could just go straight across slowly and just glide the device, right? Or you can go this way. But for me, I just like, this, I just like to swirl it. And then what I'll do is I'll stand back once I feel like, okay, I got a little stinging going on. I know that I have a little bit of a treatment here. Um, whoever asked, can, can I record this? Normally my Sunday lives only go to my Instagram club in subscriptions, but this one I'm gonna post to my main feed. And the reason I'm gonna post it to my main feed is because I wanted to describe what you guys get with the microneedling protocol, okay? So this is something that shows you how to be safe. See how it says safety first? Um, and it tells you what I'm using, gives you the hyaluronic acid and why I'm using it, as opposed to like a retinoid or something like that. And then on every body part, if you can see this, it gives you the millimeter depth that I'm doing, it gives you the technique that I'm using, whether it's a swirling technique like this or a stamping technique, right? Sometimes like I have a scar on my belly button, I'll stamp and around my eyes, when I'm getting close on that occipital bone, I'll stamp as opposed to swirl. So what it does is it gives you the millimeter that I'm going, which is the depth. It gives you what technique I'm using, swirling technique or stamping technique. It gives you how many passes I'm doing on each part, and it gives you what the speed is. Let me explain the speed for a second. Right now I'm at a one, and I'm at a one just because I want to be able to talk to you guys without it being, zzz, you know, like too much sound. When I'm trying to do something where I, I need a lot of control, um, like, uh, like the delicate area around the eye, and I'm pulling up that, this is not going to be pretty, you guys, but I'm going to do it anyways. When you pull up, look, wait, be prepared for zombie eye, okay, because it's coming. When you pull this up, <laughs> when you pull this up, 
when I'm on that occipital bone on my eye, eyelid, this is the best thing, I'm, I kid you not, for crepey eyelids, you guys. At 55 years old, I haven't done anything to my eyes. I have not had an upper bluff. I've not had a lower bluff. I get Botox in the corner here and I get Botox here for the bunny lines. But that's it, retinoids and this tool. That's pretty much why I, listen, I have nothing against an upper bluff or a lower bluff. I have nothing against plastic surgery. Um, I have had procedures done, but this, I, I kid you not, is the best thing that I've found in terms of crepey skin on that eyelid, as long as you're staying on the occipital bone and around here. So when I'm doing something that's delicate like that, where it's like, I don't need this going in a zillion times, I just need it kind of slow down and let me take control. I'll use, that's what the speed is about. This device goes all the way up from a one to a six. Now, if, if I'm doing a large area and I know I'm just gonna be here for a while doing this area, I'll crank it up to a six because it's just, it's, it's, it's literally limiting the number of passes that I will have to do in that area. Cause we're, we're going really fast as opposed to like this, right? So that's the speed. It doesn't have to do with the depth. It doesn't have to do with anything else. It's just like, if you know you're going to be at a certain depth because you change the depths on the device, depending on how thin your skin is. What area are you treating? You change the depth. I would not do the same depth on my stomach as I would on my eyelid. Does that make sense, you guys? You don't do the same, oh, sorry, I didn't, this wasn't scrolling. Oh no. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, how does it feel? It fucking hurts. Oh, sorry. I mean, it hurts a little bit, you guys. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't tickle, right? It hurts. You're literally, now you're gonna see a lot of goop and you might see a little, little bit of blood. Can you guys see the little bit of blood that I'm drawing on my, on my abdomen? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna get this hyaluronic acid off. Can you see that? See the little droplets of blood? That doesn't tickle. It doesn't tickle. The device is the Dr. Pen, yes, it's on my, it doesn't tickle, but you can see I'm drawing little tiny bits of blood. Those are the micro traumas that we need. We don't need anything, but those are the micro traumas I'm, I'm going after, right? That's what I'm going after is creating that micro trauma because at the age around our 20s, we stop producing our full amount of collagen. It starts declining by one to 3% every year. And then when you hit menopause, hello, I'm 55. I'm in menopause, folks. Um, when you hit menopause, that collagen really drops off the charts. So part of what I do as a gerontologist and a healthy aging coach, it's not just about all looking pretty. It's about tricking your organs, whether it's your heart, whether it's your lungs, whether it's even muscles, whether it's your skin, which is your largest organ, it's our largest organ, it's outward facing, tricking those organs and that, those systems into behaving like they did when they were younger. That's what we're doing here. We're creating these micro traumas to trick our skin into coming to the rescue and saying, ah, oh, something's going on here. I, there's a little, bit of, of, of a little bit of a trauma. Let me make collagen and elastin to come to that rescue. That's the whole point of this. It's not, you know, and I have, I'm not saying that the hydropens aren't, don't have a place, but that's not what the whole goal is. It's not how deep can I get a product? It's the, it's the micro traumas. It's the little perforations. That's where the magic happens. And so if you're doing this at home, my suggestion is to make sure that you're using a slipping, you know, a, a skin care with this and a, and a slipping kind of mechanism, not mechanism, but that's not the right word, but you know what I'm saying. You're looking for a product, hello, that, ha that can create slip that still occurs naturally in your body so that you're not introducing something that's gonna further irritate the area. And that's where this, <laughs> where this skincare protocol comes in because Post-care is important and it's not just important for immediately afterwards. 
It's important for two days afterwards while I'm healing from this, right? So if I'm going to do something to my face on a Friday, hi India, if I'm gonna do something on my face on a Friday and I know I've got something I need to look good for on Monday, there's two different ways that you can address that. Dial this down. You don't necessarily need to do a 1.5 on your face. You can do a 0.5. In fact, I did a 0.5 at my father's house when I was visiting him last. And in two days, nothing. There was no, I had no exfoliation. I had nothing, my, my skin looked great and it was two days later. So there's two things that you can do if you wanna speed up your healing. Number one, don't do as deep of a treatment right? Know what your next couple days are. Now my stomach, I'm not going to be in a bikini anytime soon. So I did a 0.5, but I'm about to go over this in a, in a 1.0. We're going to get, we're going to do some work here. Um, but, but going big is not necessarily the best thing. You can still have a great treatment at a 0.5 millimeter. Hi France. You can still have a great treatment and be consistent with it, which is why this one comes in because every week, I'm microneedling, not the same body part, but it'll come back around so that I know I'm getting a treatment on my abdomen every four to six weeks. Every four to six weeks is when you kind of want to repeat the treatment, repeat the treatment. So um, that is one way where you can speed up your healing is just don't go as deep. And the next way is, which, you know, this is the basis of like what I do. But if you've got an event, scale it down a tiny bit. If you know, listen, I'm not, I don't have anything else to do for a little while. Nobody's gonna see me for a little while. Then, let's see, what did I have on my abdomen? I have a 1.0, let's just look at this for a second. I have a 1.0 to a 1.5. Sometimes I go as deep as a 2.0. It's rare, but it does happen. And it takes a while to, it literally takes a, it takes about, I want to say, a week for me to heal from that in terms of I can't really put on a, um, a, a self-tanner because it will, you'll see all the little, little marks. But it's not like it's, it's horrific. It's just you wouldn't, you're not going to put your best stomach forward in a bathing suit or in a midriff or whatever a couple days after doing a 1.5 to a 2.0. You can do a 0.5, let it sit for a couple of days. I'll tell you how to speed up the healing with that. But here's what, here's what my protocol shows for my stomach, okay? 1.0 to 1.5 millimeters. Sometimes I go as deep as a 2.0. Swirling technique, three to four passes, a speed of three. I don't normally go over a speed of three because why? It's just like too, it's too hectic. I missed the beginning. How did you prep on the skin? Did you wash or just alcohol? I took a full shower. <laughs> took a full shower this morning, and then I prepped with alcohol. And then I'm using a fresh sterile packet. And then I sterilized this, and my hyaluronic acid goes straight in here. Okay, so that's how I am sterile. If you're using one of these, either a roller or a stamp, this goes all the way up to 2.0. Some people are afraid to use a device like this. And you've got two choices there. You start small and you start with the protocol and you do like a 0.25. I microneedled with somebody yesterday and um, she had never done it before. We opened up her container. She did a 0.25 on her whole face. She's fine. She got to wear makeup the next day. 0.25 is not very deep, but these stamps can go all the way up to a 2.5. So if you're afraid of using something like this, Get the Dr. Pen stamp. Which needle do you use on your eyelids? I'll, I, did, I said that, but I'll get back to it. You can use a Dr. Pen stamp. This was sterilized because I did spray it. And just stamp the whole area, right? Or you can use the Dr. Pen microneedling tool, stamp the whole area or the swirl. But I like the swirl on a big area like this, okay? So that's one way to speed the healing is just don't do as deep of a treatment. Another way is I always double up on my collagen. So a hydrolyzed collagen really does help with healing. I normally take a tablespoon in the morning, a tablespoon at night, but when I'm microneedling on Sundays, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I double up on this. 
So I take two tablespoons of this in the morning and two tablespoons at night. I've, I've since switched from the skin to the life. Um, it just this one hasn't been opened yet so I could bring it upstairs and not worry about refrigerating it. You do have to refrigerate it after you open it. But I switched to the life because it's the same amount of collagen but it has added resveratrol, which is great for longevity. So um, that's what I use. So I double up on this and then I will blast it for two days with red light therapy. Either my full body panel or I'll wrap, I don't wanna put this on now, or I'll wrap this around it and walk around with this for a little while and that is in this protocol. So there's a method to the madness of all of this. Okay, I'm gonna go over this again and I'm gonna crank this up to a 1.5 so I can really get the good treatment. Now midway, see I normally do three passes and midway, did you go to college for this? I'm a, I've been in college for so long, it's ridiculous. I did not go to college for, for microneedling. I am a gerontologist. So I'm somebody who studies the aging process, the physical, the social, the psychological study of aging. What happens to our body with the emphasis on how do you trick your body into behaving like it's, it's younger so that you're expanding that health span, right? We're on the planet for a certain number of years. But as you guys know, the way that our medical system works is that you're treating symptoms of stuff when it starts going wrong. And what I do for a living is I help you expand that health span so that you're active and you're exercising and you're, you're mentally clear and you're doing all of that right up till the end. As opposed to like, you're, you know, you're in your 80s, you start getting all these age-related diseases and that, and you're just prolonging the death process. I like to prolong the health process. That's what I do. So I, I do, I am a gerontologist. I am a holistic nutrition and health coach. I'm also a yoga instructor. There's a lot that goes, goes into this. And I have a graduate degree in psychology. So all of that helps with the coaching. But in terms of just the science of the skin, it's like the science of the heart, which I learned in school. It's like the science of, of a lot of stuff. And believe it or not, microneedling was actually talked about in one of my classes. Of course, I brought up the subject. But my, one of my professors was like, yeah, that makes, that makes complete sense. You're basically tricking your body into behaving like it was when it was in its 20s, when it was producing more collagen. So it's these controlled microtraumas. So I'm gonna go over this again. I'm on my third pass now. If you look at, um, blah, 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 blah. and I do have my, my alcohol wipe there that I'm gonna wipe my hands. Um, Shoot, abdomen. Okay, so I do have three passes, a speed of three. I'm gonna, all of this is a 16 pin needle and I'm gonna go up to about a 1.5 right now. It's gonna probably hurt, but uh, you're definitely a mentor. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so what time is it? I wanna make sure, oh, we have plenty of time. Okay, I'm gonna go up to a 1.5. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Oh, this device. I wish they made this where it was, you could actually see it, but okay. So I'm going up to a 1.5, holy crap. Okay, let me make sure I've got a lot of slip here. And again, I don't use numbing cream. There is a numbing cream on my, um, on my Amazon store, but I have just found that if I, if I use numbing cream, I will tear my skin up. I literally just like, I won't be able to, yeah, I'll, I would go to a 2.5 if I had numbing cream. Hold on, one sip of coffee. By the way, I had a lot of questions about my mushroom coffee where I, when I break my fast with my mushroom coffee, because I've been doing intermittent fasting for like 30 years now at 55. Yeah, I started mid twenties intermittent fasting. So I've been doing intermittent fasting for 30 years now, you guys, before it was even a thing, before it was a thing. But people have asked me about my mushroom coffee and I did reach out to the company. It's Reese, R-Y-Z-E. So if you guys want a, a little discount on that, just DM me the word coffee. And if you want a discount on the collagen, which you guys need to throw away your powders, I'm sorry. Somebody's probably gonna sue me, but the powders, just they're just not hydrolyzed and they're, they're not absorbing the way that they should. And this is what I have found to be the best on the market. If it changes and somebody else comes up with a better product than this, this I'll throw this away and go to the better product. So don't think that you know I'm gonna send you a link and that means that I'm loyal to this company. Right now, 
the science is behind this. If they're, they're always improving, you know, healthy aging is a moving target, you guys. Nutrition is a moving target. Longevity is a moving target. You can't just, if you're a health coach out there, you can never stop learning because it's all, we're getting new information all the time. So if there's a better collagen that comes on the market, if you're on this and you know of a better collagen, please tell me. But right now, this is, this is by third party scientists are testing this and finding that it's increasing the amount of collagen in the skin. Now it doesn't work the way you think it does. You don't drink collagen and it goes where you want. That's why you're creating microtraumas. So we're calling on the collagen in our skin to come to the rescue. And so you need to make sure you have the precursors to build that back. It's like going to the gym. You want a little protein afterwards? You do something like this. You want to make sure you have the precursors to rebuild the collagen back. And when it, real, re, and when it builds back, it's less crepey. It's a little thicker skin, which we want. It's less wrinkled. It's less, you know, uh, discoloration. So it smooths everything out. Okay, speed of three. 16 pen cartridge. <sighs> Got to prep for this. 1.5 millimeter depth. I'm going to do one pass at this. Can you guys see this okay? Let me see if I can just bend you down a little bit. You can already tell I'm getting like the little blood droplets, right? You can use a doctor pen, microneedling pen, or a microneedling pen, or just microneedling with one of these, right? On any part of your body that you feel you want to stimulate collagen, which is why I broke up the entire protocol into various body parts because you can treat all of it, forearms, elbows, upper arms, chest, abdomen, knees, thighs. Let's see what I have on the other side. Ooh, can you tell I'm procrastinating doing this? Just a little procrastinating because I know it's gonna hurt. Um, forearms, uh, forehead, neck, eyes, nose, lips, chin, cheeks, jowls, all of these, I give you the depths of needles that I use and the post care. Okay, all right, we're getting in this. I have found that this does help with the crepiness. What, I don't know what happens. If there, if you guys, if there is a plastic surgeon on here, somebody needs to come up with something that helps women who have had babies that are not a candidate for, for a tummy tuck. I'm not, a, there's nothing to tuck. I'm not, I'm not blind. I'm, a, I'm not a candidate for a tummy tuck but I am a, a candidate for this crepey skin right here. And right now they can't do anything about it except for Morpheus 8, um, Secrets RF, which is combining microneedling with radio frequency. Those are the best tools that we have right now to tighten this stomach. I keep trying to get somebody, not get them, but like inquire, how do we, you know, is there a way to somehow address the crepiness from here to the belly button? Because with a tummy tuck, it does this part. It'll pull everything down. There's nothing to fix this yet, right? But somebody, please, come on. Does anybody know of anybody that's doing that? Because I'd love to interview them. You know how many clients I have that say that's the part that's making them not wear a bikini? Oh, I hate that. I hate that, right? Don't let it stop you from doing what you wanna do. I wear a bikini, even though I know when I bend over, I've got this crazy part. But I hate that when, if something, you know, stops you from doing something that you would ordinarily love to do. So I wanna to get to the bottom of that, but right now, this is the best tool that we have. Listen, for all you young'uns out there, in about, maybe in about 30 years, you're gonna be able to walk into a pod and just like reset all the cells in your body. I'll probably, you know, by then I'll be in my 80s. And I'll, listen, I'll still probably be walking, be walking into that pod, but this is what we have right now. Okay, do you have a tummy tuck? I've not had a tummy tuck. I have not had a tummy tuck. Surgically, we can go over what I've done surgically which is why I love this device because I really do feel it's the thing that has really kept my eyes looking the way that they look. And you know, listen, I still have crepey eyelid. I'm 55 years old. It would be weird if I didn't, you guys. But I have not had an upper bleph, 
yet. I'm not saying I won't do it. I have nothing against it. I'm just not a candidate yet. And it's because of this. It's because I'm consistent. Consistent with this. I had to make a calendar to keep myself consistent. And I'm sharing it with you guys for free. All you have to do is sign up for the newsletter. Um, so you can DM me the word protocol to get this, right? DM me protocol to get this. If you want the depths and links and needles of all of the microneedling protocol, DM me the word microneedling protocol. If you want right now, what is currently the best collagen in the world, DM me collagen. Remember I, I switched to life because I think it's just a little bit better. Um, and that's, yeah. And if you, if you don't have this pen and you're wanting this pen, just, just say Dr. Pen and I'll, de I'll just give you my Amazon link specifically for that pen because when you go to my Amazon store, you gotta browse around a little bit. You go to the skincare department, that's where it's in, but you gotta browse around a little bit because everything that I talk about on my live shows is in my, is in my Amazon store. So, and if I can get you guys a discount on anything, I will, but I don't have a discount on any of this stuff other than I have a discount on this. You'll get like $10 off. And I think there's a major sale right now, if I'm not mistaken. There's a major sale right now on this. So if, you, if you've been on the fence about this, now is the time to kind of get that in. Because I do feel it really does help with the healing. Okay, you guys. Oh, my God. Okay, so now, stand back. I'm going to use you guys as a mirror. I need to look and see. If there's anything, you see how I've got like little droplets? That's good, but you see how this part is like a little bit more white? That means I didn't get as good of a treatment. And just because you have crepiness right over your belly button doesn't mean you don't go all the way up here. Your skin is all connected. It's all connected, right? So addressing your skin, sorry you guys. Addressing your skin up here is all connected to this whole thing. So you don't just do right where the treatment is, you do the whole entire section. Because by tightening that whole section, you're pulling, right? It's all connected. Ooh. Okay, we're at a 1.5 here, guys. This is not gonna be a pleasant um, afternoon for me because it's gonna be a little bit stinging. Okay, so I'm gonna go over like, what do you do now? What do I do now? But first, let me just make sure. I'm gonna, so now that was a whole swirling technique, right? At a 1.5, I'm gonna stamp right where my scar is. You see that? That was an emergency hernia operation after I gave birth to my third child. She kind of ripped my stomach open. I love her though. So this is just a stamping technique. And the stamping technique, oh sorry, I couldn't see your questions and I'm sterile, so I'm gonna try. But re, if you could, uh, should we subscribe and book a one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me um, and that's also in my link tree. So you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me and we will microneedle together through Zoom, which is what I just did yesterday with a client, so fun. And you'll get a really good treatment. And we'll talk about like the thickness of your skin and what depth of needle you should have and all of that and the speed. And so it's really a way for people to get used to these kind of devices because it's freaking scary. I know because I did it once my first time too. It was a long time ago. But I know what that feeling is like. It's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, can I do this? And so, Book a one-on-one -on -one with me and we'll microneedle together through Zoom. I'm gonna get a little bit more out here and then I'm gonna tell you guys about post-care and we'll be done. Um, but you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me. You can also join the Instagram club. Uh, what are your questions? Yeah, what are the questions? Somebody asked, ask me the questions. I'm about to stop here so I can kind of like look a little bit closer at them. I think I'm done. Oh, my God, okay. I think I'm done. Okay, so post-care, ask your questions now. How do I book a one-on-one -on -one with you? Okay, so in my link tree, on my profile, you'll see a link there. Click on that link, It'll the first little tab will say, subscribe to my newsletter, which will give you the ultimate skincare guide, and then I think you get this on your second email. And you can also just DM me protocol, and I'll send you this. And DM me microneedling protocol, and I'll send you this. But on that link tree, you'll see book a one-on-one -on -one consultation. You click on that and it'll send you to my Calendly link. 
and you booked your one-on-one -on -one like that. Um, if you are in the club for $4.99 a month, um, you can ask me questions as I'm doing the microneedling. So in the comment section there, or you just ask me a question on the group chat in this subscription club and I answer all the questions there. Um, I hope that that helped. Okay, so right now is post care and I'm gonna scroll back and try to see. If I didn't answer your questions, you guys, um, then, oh, Glow Up Community, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for being here. I didn't see, because I'm a little bit further away. Can you use the same cartridge for face and then the same one for the new? Okay, that's a great question, actually. If I were to go to do another body part, I wouldn't do my abdomen and then do the same needle for my face and my neck. And why do you, why would that be? There are single use cartridges. And so you're not supposed to use them for the whole thing. I worry about the needles being dulled after doing a large area like this. So I normally would do one cartridge for my face and neck and chest. Sometimes I'll divide these. I'll just do face, throw it away on the, on two weeks later. Cause I, I sometimes I don't like my whole thing being messed up. Right. I kind of like, let's do my face. Then let's give it a break. I'll be presentable to the world. Let's do the abdomen. Let's come back the following Sunday and do the neck and chest. Cause you can always like wrap up or whatever. And then the following Sunday I'll do knees and, and my thighs. And then in between there, I'll throw in my hands, but you really want to per body part. When you're looking at a large area, you want to do one needle per body, one thing per body part. So I would use this one thing on both of my legs and I would use one thing on my, my stomach. You could do one on your face, neck and chest but you wouldn't want to do this plus this plus this all with one needle thing because they are going to dull, right? They're made for a single use. And also your, how many body parts, how many body parts can you sterilize at one time and keep sterile? And also during the healing phase, now tell me if this makes sense to you guys. During the healing phase, if you have created micro traumas here, here, back of your arms, chest, neck, all of that, how, how efficiently do you think that your body is going to be able to call on that collagen and go to that treatment area? Not as efficiently as if you had a controlled section where you're doing the treatment. Does that make sense? Which is why I won't microneedle my whole body in one part. That's like you're causing too much inflammation in the body all at once. It's too much inflammation all at once. Controlled it. You don't want to like spike your cortisol levels. Have you tried daily red light on your upper abdomen for crepey skin? Ah, have I tried red light? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's all, in, it's all in the protocol. I am like a red light therapy fiend. I'm going to show you guys. Now I have sterilized this, but I'm going to wipe it again. So right now what I've done is I have coated the area again in hyaluronic acid. Okay. So no fancy skincare, nothing crazy like that. It's literally just a coating of hyaluronic acid. And I will keep doing this. Leave all the blood, leave the blood, leave the, all of that stuff is so healing. You guys leave it, let it do its thing. Keep coating with hyaluronic acid, right? In a couple of hours, it will kind of, it kind of gets a little uh, dry and tacky and kind of sticky, which is not fun at all. But what I like to do when it starts doing that, I'll keep coating for a little bit and then I'll take a uh, mineral water and do like a mineral water mist when it starts getting too dry, right? So it starts getting too dry. I do a little bit of that. I wait two hours about, or as long as I can, but usually it's around two hours when I'm like, I've got to get this coating stuff off. And then I'll rinse with cool water. Don't put anything else on unless your skin is screaming. I need to have something on it. And if you need to have something on it, put a light layer of Aquaphor or an unscented, very clean moisturizer. Okay. So don't put any, no actives, 
no vitamin C, it's gonna sting like crazy, no retinoids, it's not gonna be good for you and it's gonna prolong the healing. Then what I'll do, ooh, did I even, oh, I didn't plug this in, dang it. Well, let me see if I can do this real quick. I'll, do, I'll see if I can plug this in real quick so you can see. Um, I have a full body red light therapy panel. Sorry, I'm still talking guys. I also have um, my Omni Lux face panel that I like. But I, when I'm doing my abdomen, I really like doing, let me just see. So look, I like this because you get the 660 for the red and you get the 850 for the near infrared. So I put both of them all on at the same time. I put a timer on of 30. And this, because it's plastic, I can, I can literally, now I, I actually used one of the wipes for this but you can sterilize this whole thing and quite quickly within like within an hour, I wouldn't do it right now because I want, I want to just keep moisture, keep the hyaluronic acid, keep spritzing a little bit, but I will wrap, on, let me see if this will dry. I wrap this whole thing around me. I hope that helped. I hope that answered the question. Let me see if there's anything else. I didn't really scroll this whole time because I wanted to make sure that I stayed um, that I, I kind of stayed as sterile as I possibly could. Right now, what it feels like, uh, Costa Baja, I don't know find it on Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. Right now, what this feels like is it feels like it's burning a little bit. That's normal. You could take a couple of Tylenol or something, but I, I just, you know, I just let it do. Okay, so this feels very dry. Okay. So then what you could do in a couple of hours, now I don't normally do it when I have the goop on because then I just have to wash this off again. It's just more care for this. But I'll wrap this whole thing around me. So I'm speeding up the healing. So I'm getting a red light therapy treatment right up against what I just did. Um, this is also in my Amazon store, in the skincare uh, section of my Amazon store. And then I will double up on my collagen. And that's it, tomorrow, I won't do any sort of retinoids. I won't do any glycolic acids in terms of full body. I'll just keep moisturizing with a little bit of Aquaphor. That's all I got, folks. <laughs> that's, a whole, that's a whole section on just this. Um, somebody just asked, can we wear a t-shirt afterwards? Absolutely, you can. But it's gonna get a little bit goopy. So you could, I mean, here's the thing. If you really need to put a t-shirt on afterwards and you don't want all of this goop on you, um, this is not gonna probably stain anything because it's literally like hyaluronic acid. There's no oil in this. So you could put a light coating, put a t-shirt on afterwards, right? And then lift up your t-shirt every once in a while when it starts getting dry, add a little bit more of this. But if you really can't stand it, just get in a cool shower. Just rinse it off, don't use any soap. Just rub it around, right? Um, thank you about the eyes, the eye comment. It's very sweet. Um, just rub, rub it around. You'll, you'll notice that this has layered up quite thick, and so it's kind of like a really smooth kind of feeling that you get, glossy feeling when you're rubbing this off of you in a cool shower. And then put a little bit of Aquaphor. Done. All right, you guys, that's all I got. I'm gonna see you guys on Saturday. This will post to the main feed. Um, please share my videos with your friends, you guys. Um, and have a great rest of your Sunday. I'll see you next Saturday, 11. I don't know what my topic is yet, but I'll let you know. Okay, bye you guys.